Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm Andre Salazar, sponsored by Stetson. No. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes we do videos here that um, I'm not that excited about because it's like, okay, I gotta come up with a book or a thing that I'm gonna talk about. And uh, it's a little bit of a homework, a little bit of a little assignment for me to do. And uh, you know, it takes a little bit more to get me motivated. But today is not that day, as you can tell by the title. This is about comic book binding. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my books and we're gonna go through them here and it's kinda cool. So, comic book binding. About 20 years ago, I was living in Los Angeles. I don't even know how I got a hold of them. There was a forum. It was called like Collected Editions or something like that. And uh, there, people showed pictures of their customized comic book bindings this would be a hardcover that they would go get sent to somebody and they would bind it up together make a hardcover they did it for magazines uh they did it for like journals you know you would bind anything right anything that's either a bunch of loose things together or like rebind old books <clears throat> someone had the great idea of let's get these old issues of Jack Kirby and let's bind them, right? And then that just took off. And I somehow stumbled across this forum and I just became obsessed with it. And I have about 23 or 24 bound books. And now I'll, I'll go through the process and everything. And this was also 20 years ago was before they did a lot of like collections of stuff. Now everything's collected. But back in the day, they didn't. They would collect the big stuff. The, the you know Watchmen, of course, was collected in multiple formats. But they didn't just collect any old freaking series. Nowadays they do. Now it's like okay, they're like okay, well, let's do this. So my very first one. When you think of all the comics I have, Lucy's that is, what would I bind? And <laughs> true to form, it was oh shit, America's best comics, Alan Moore. This was, as you could tell, this is a beastie freaking book. This uh, was is done by a guy, David Banks. Shout out to David Banks if you're still around out there uh, in Nebraska. Um, I can't remember the company he worked with. Uh, I want to say Capital. Was it Capital Binding? Um, wonderful hardcover buckram here. This is library edition style book little nice little um you know spine here and this you could do about 25 30 at the very most 30 is pushing it around 20 to 25 issues and this is my favorite comics league of extraordinary gentlemen uh that would be the first and second volume and then also my other very favorite top 10. so i put top 10 and League of Extraordinary Gentlemen in one book. Because at the time, I didn't know if they were ever gonna you know, put League of Extraordinary Gentlemen in the series and uh, in, a, in, a, in a hardcover, so I just said, did it. And I love this book. Now, you are sacrificing the actual comics. That's part of the, part of the deal. Um, and, and you could take out the ads if you want, but I decided to keep, especially all the, um, what I did was I reorganized it, which you can, you know, when you're doing your own thing, you can do what you want. So I reorganized all of the prose pieces that Alan did at the end of his book. I put them all together. So then you can just read all the prose all together in one, like, in one, one chomp. So I thought that was kind of fun. So you can reorganize, I put all the ads in here at the other section. So all the ads get put in, all that kind of stuff in another section. So this was my very first, and when I got this back, this was 60 bucks plus shipping, right? So you're talking 70 bucks total, plus the cost of the books. Uh, at the time, could never get something like this made. Uh, awesome, super excited. After that, I went down more and I did more stuff. I did Daredevil, which I love this Daredevil. This was the uh, Brian Michael Bendez, Alex McKeeve uh, series. So, love this. Love this. This is a great, and this is kind of fun. 
uh, we actually uh, had to destroy the cover of this one to put it there. I thought it was kind of cool. And he did a nice, nice, uh, <clears throat> larger font there. I did Powers. You can tell I was a Bendis fan at the time. Huge Bendis fan. I did Powers uh, Volume 1. This is like the first two or three trades. These were singles though, right? And I got, I had uh, Brian write a little <laughs> Just Do Joke Casada. That was like a little gimmick they, they were joking on. And then I got uh, Mike and Brian to sign some of the issues at Comic-Con years ago. Love this series. And so I got this one done. <clears throat> I did Sandman. Sandman, uh, at the time, again, no collections out. Now they have those big hardcovers. They didn't have those back then. So I had to destroy my Sandmans, which weren't, weren't cheap to do. Uh, I even had to like some issues I had to go for the essential Sandman so you'll see you'll see some of these are like the reprinted ones but I don't care because I'm it's all about the story and the collection so this took three volumes to do these um, and have some others so why don't I change the camera over and I'll show you what I got I'll show you different kind of things going on with comic book binding maybe you want to get into it maybe you don't okay guys uh, in addition to Sandman, probably one of my favorites is these X-Men. Um, this is three volumes. I have two here. Um, this costs extra like five bucks for the X-Men uh, foil stamp, which I freaking love. Um, this is the Claremont run. What is this? This is 200 to 275. The third one is the other set. Um, Love these. These. This is my jam. This is my X Men. Actually, 200 is a little before my time, so I didn't get into comics here at this one. Um, but dude, this is John Romita. This is all the Claremont stuff. I came in X Men around around the Marauders. Well, yeah, right about here. So right when yeah, this is around my time. So this is when I started getting into comics in the 209s. But I love this run. I mean, this is this brings back my 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 memories. This is this is wonderful freaking comics, and the newsprint works pretty well. Now, notice it's yellowed, it's aged. It's probably not as good as if it's reproduced on like fancier paper, the glossy paper. But I love it. Uh, it was these were very expensive. Again, sixty bucks each. I did three volumes plus the issues themselves are expensive so it's it's a lot it's it's a little silly nowadays if you think about it like, really would you do that see I want to do my Akira's I have all the Akira books uh, the epic versions the colored uh, but they're just so damn expensive to destroy them kind of hurts me I was also thinking of doing Walking Dead but I have them in trades and I I think I kind of like them in the trade format, but I am tempted to do those. Uh, there's a couple other projects. Um, okay, here's also one of my flagship. This is Dr. Doom. I did another three volumes of this, so like 200 bucks. This guy is awesome. I really played with this. So, um, you know, this looks kind of basic. I did Ladveria Press, kind of added some like fun things to it. I made this page. So I put his logo here, you know, kind of like really kayfabed it all here. Uh, poor Valeria, you know, his mother. I put a quote here. This is his quote. I just thought it was kind of fun. And then I put the contents. So this is every appearance of Dr. Doom. It took three volumes, and um, at least for the earlier ones. And, you know, these are the issues. So this goes through. Iron Man, uh, Uncanny X-Men, Fantastic Four, Secret Wars, all that stuff. So I had to destroy all these issues. Some great, great, and I decided to keep the ads. You know, you keep the ads if the comic is on the other side, so you have to kind of do that. Um, I haven't even read all these. I haven't even read all these, but I needed to, um, I need to. I just, I need to spend time and sit here and re I should probably do that. I would maybe, uh, let me know if you want me to go through. Maybe I should go through a couple issues. Look at this. This look at John Romita Jr. Um, should I go through some of these issues with you guys sometime? Maybe I will. Anyway, love this. This was really, really fun to do. It was hard to make to get all the issues, but it was great. Now, 
So I had been doing this for a while, and this was, I think, the last one I did. I really went fancy with it. And I realized there's other companies out there doing this. There were other uh, binding companies who decided to say, hey, there's a market for these comic book nerds. Let's, let's go out to them. So there's another company in Texas at the time called Library Binding. And so Library Binding was around, and they were a lot cheaper. They were like 20, 20 30 bucks a book. And so it was like half the price of David's stuff. They're not as good. And let me tell you why. Notice the, the roundedness here of the spine. And notice how nice and flat David's are, uh, capital binding, okay? So also, you get the tail bands here, which were all included. If I added tail bands to these, it was another five bucks. Um, so it's and the buckram doesn't feel so good and the corners are a little like the corners here are a little wonky where these are like really nicely done these corners are beautiful this is like high quality this literally is a little bit lower quality but at the time and you can also see like the rounding here too that i show you that on both sides i might have just rounded here but look at this is it rounded these are not this is like nice so um, they're not as good, but I decided to give them a shot. So I had them do a few books. Uh, they did this one. Also, another thing to, to note, the writing is on this way, whereas these, the writing is going down. And they were not able to go down. They're like, no, that's the way we've got to do it. But as you see, I did more Alan Moore. I did the Tom Strong series. Pretty much all the way until uh, he left the, yeah, pretty much all these. So I really like the series. So that was kind of fun to do. Um, I did uh, Hellboy. I have a bunch here. I'm not going to show them all. but Now this was a little different because these are the trade paperbacks. So you could do trade paperbacks. This was an experiment to say, okay, um, I've seen them bind single issues, but can you bind a bunch of trades? The answer, yes, you can. Here it is. I did the same thing with Captain America. I have a Captain America one that um, Ed Brubaker did. So yeah, here's the trades. It's a little stiffer. You know, you remember the trades. These are kind of like, you know, the paper's fancy, nice. But because it's stiff and stuff, and the trades, you do lose the gutter. So you lose a little bit of the gutter here, and potentially some of the artwork or story is lost a bit because of the gutter. See, here's a good example. You just you barely can read this because of um, it's a trade. So uh, trades are just cut so close to the edge, whereas a, you know, a stitched, uh, saddle stitched book opens up wider. So you, you miss a little bit of that, but you know, I didn't know until I bought some. I love these early um, Hellboy trade. So I thought it'd be fun to, uh, look at that, isn't that great? That's just some great, I love his action, man. I mean, he's, he did something at the time that was just so damn good, you know. What is this? Oh, look at this! There's the format. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Um, yeah, so it was in Waco, Texas. Library binding. There's the number. And here's my form. This is my name, my, where I lived. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, I did this. Wow, I did this when I was in Ventura. Okay. Um... This is what I did. This is the lettering. I wanted red lettering on the outside, heart lettering, da da da, ribbon, no ribs. So you could do all these things, but they cost more. The head of tail bands cost five bucks. Uh, black end sheets cost five bucks. Ribbon marker cost five bucks. You know, all these things cost. And then I told him what I wanted Hellboy Manola. There you go. So this was the little order form. Great book. Okay. So I done capital. I did library binding, and uh, then I was, you know what? I still have these projects I wanted to do. I wanted to do that run of JSA. There was, like I said, The Walking Dead, things like that that I was looking at, and um, Akira, and I said, you know what? Why don't I move it up to the next level and do my own binding? And boys and girls, that's what we're gonna, I'll show you right now what I did. So, I've bound, two, three, four, five, I've done about six books. And um, I really don't know if I have anything. Here's the thing. I don't really know if I have anything more to bind. 
because um, everything is collected now in such a good format. I'm not sure I have singles of things. I mean, I, I have to go through my long boxes and look for things to bind because everything is, all the new stuff is already bound up and I don't really have any older stuff that I need to be bound. But there was something I wanted and I know people are gonna think I'm retarded for this, but I went ahead and bound up the Saga of Swamp Thing, a gillen. Alan Moore's story. This is volume two. I did volume one and two, and I decided to make this. So I made a, a, I you know used my airbrush and I had this printed out on my computer, and this was kind of cool. So I made in in uh, pages, which is cool. And then we start going on, and now we have the book. Now I had this cut. You can go to uh, Kinko's or FedEx or someplace, and they'll cut. They'll cut your your page so you just give them you bind this up and they cut this and then you you us you, uh, glue it to the the uh, cardboard so you use a cardboard this is like a leather actually and you can get different materials buckram whatever but you actually wrap this up there's a whole process and I do have some bubbles here the glue and everything and it is hard this is like hard but I <laughs> and I made a I put a, a a bookmark in here a ribbon and I put the tail bands I got I made tail bands I did the ribbon I got it cut nice it's a little as you can tell it's not perfect because this these should actually go out a little bit more right it shouldn't be flush with this but uh, when I put it together it was just hard to do and I do have some bubbling here on the spine which is a bummer I didn't have a way to stamp it either, so there's a couple things there that it's not great, it's not professional, but it's but I'm really proud of it, and it, it looks kind of cool. So I'm excited about this one. This was a couple I did. Um, so there's that. I also did my best one is probably this one. This one is Gotham Central. Boom again. Did a little sketch in both sides. Thought that was fun. Um, and and then, I, and then I made the book, and I love Gotham Central. And so I got Gotham Central done, which is a great series. I think I have an episode of that here in this channel. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. Smith sew, it's called Smith Sewing. There's a couple different ways, and I can send you guys information if you want it. But basically, you have to stitch by hand all the issues together, and then you glue it to the end pages and then you glue the end pages to the boards the cardboard or the the hardboard artboard that is then wrapped in some sort of material and this is wrapped in again this faux leather um the faux leather i think these are like about 20 bucks or maybe maybe like 15 or 12 dollars for the faux leather plus you know three dollars of shipping um and you can get probably two books out of that and and then you you know the boards are just like a nice thick art board that's not too bad the glues the stitching but i mean i sat there and i watched all of downton abbey making these books when for christmas one year and i had so much fun doing it and just talking about it makes me like want to go through my books now and like find something to bind like i was thinking of maybe binding heavy metal issues um, you know other types of magazines and things like that it's fun I would it would take me a while to kind of like go back and remember how to do it because it's been probably about two years since I did it but that's binding for you you can get it professionally done there's some great places out there that do it now and they've been doing it for a while you know over 20 years so people are are they know what they're doing when they're doing comics uh, or you can like take the plunge ruin a couple of your comics and make your own and I'm happy with it and uh, that's my take on binding books originally it was done because there were no you know uh, ways to collect in a hardcover things and you can also customize it like this you can put all the issues I have a book just of all the ambush bug issues things like that so I have all of the um, Justice League America, Justice League International, and Justice League Europe, which were all the Keith Giffen stuff. So I have things that like 
aren't necessarily collected or maybe never will be collected. So that's kind of fun. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the channel. Please feel free to comment on everything else that's going on. If you have questions about it, I'll let you know. Check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel. What do you think, you guys? Um, I have a Patreon, and I just finished a big chunk of Shangri-La, which I'll talk about next. Thanks, guys. Bye.